pop flap is going to be the equal sign. And then we're going to open up and do our example for the equal sign. I want you to start with x equals 3. Again, I really don't want you guys spending tons of time labeling number lines. So I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't even need to fill this whole thing in. I'm going to circle the number and then ask, is it solid or empty? Solid. <coughs> and if you see on the left side, the equal sign, as you know, means is equal to. We're going to do our second one, which is less than. that I need to open the second flap to have room to write my numbers. Okay, what does it mean? It means is less than. The example I want you to write is x is less than negative 1. I just pick a place to put the 0, make sure I have my negative 1 on there. And I really want you to start seeing that symbol, that inequality, is also looking like the top, the front of an arrow. We're going to circle the negative one. Empty or solid? Empty. And we go to the left. Why? Because the symbol is less than. Everything less than negative one would make this inequality true. Why is negative one not solid? Because it's not equal to. Negative one is not less than negative one. But everything less than negative one is. Okay, close that up. We're gonna do our next symbol. Less than or equal to. I would like you to write the example, x is less than or equal to 5. Just fill in enough numbers that you've got to zoom in on the number line. We're going to circle the 5, ask ourselves solid or empty solid. And which direction does do we shade the line? Right. To the left. Oh, oh. <laughs> Less than means we're going to the left. Now we'll get to do some to the right. Because flap number four is greater than. Open up that one. I want you to write down as it, our example, x, bless you, is greater than zero. You guys freaked yourselves out on the quiz the other day. Is it possible that an answer could be zero? Yes, by the way, I have not had time to regrade them, so don't stress, but I will. Circle the zero. Do we leave it open or shade it? And this inequality symbol tells us greater than means we're going to the... So shade your line appropriately. Why do you think we put an arrow on the end of this line? It keeps going, right? Almost finished. Anybody want to guess what the next symbol is? Greater than or equal to.
All right, this time x is greater than or equal to <coughs> negative 10. Is it that little pencil dot that got you? Okay, I'm going to circle the negative 10. Solid or empty? It's greater than or equal to, so that means negative 10 would be an appropriate answer for this. So we circle, we shade it in. And which direction does our line go? Again, this is why order matters. If you're thinking about the inequality symbol is similar to the front of our arrow. It's telling you what direction to point. Okay, one more. Not equal to. This one's kind of fun, and I'll bet you've never really thought of it this way before. X is not equal to 2. I'm going to circle the 2. Solid or empty? And what do you think we should do with the lines? Both. Why, Alex? Any other number on the number line would make this inequality work except two. Okay, as we glue this one in, I want you to title it Graphing Solutions. So make sure it's going to have to get glued almost to the bottom of your notebook. So make your title first. At the top of the page, you're going to title this Graphing Solutions. And then go ahead and get it glued in.